Hey everybody, so we're just here at the Siffler Falls staging area for the Siffler Falls hike. Uh, it's a pretty nice view here and there's a pretty good parking lot. Um, I'll give you a bit of a panorama. We just walked here, uh, normally people drive and park here, it's just right off Highway 11. Um, but we are camping at the Kootenai Plains and are just down the road. so. Uh, we're just here to uh, to do the hike and hopefully it'll be good. Just so everyone is aware, there are bathrooms. So if you do need to go, they're outhouses, but they're very, fairly clean. It's the start of Siffler Falls and it has a good sign to let you know what the hike kind of looks like, but it's really important to be aware um, to stay on the pass and don't go over the fences. We're just getting going down the trail here. Um, it's a pretty nice gravel trail. Uh, pretty accessible if you're trying to bring a stroller or if you have anybody who's not uh, not super fit. It comes down right along the North Saskatchewan River here. Pretty big river. One of the nice things about this hike is that there's uh, a lot of these little um, these little signs that kind of have some fun facts about the area and about different uh, different things with the wildlife and with the flora and fauna. Here's the bridge right up ahead that you're going to have to cross. Um, to get over to Siffler Falls. It's one of those cool suspension looking bridges and uh, we'll show you a closer up of it as well. No horses on the bridge. Important to remember that this is an ecological reserve and so a lot of it is a protected area, so if you're coming, be sure to stay on the boardwalk. For the boardwalk, you come to this slightly ominous sign warning you that you're coming into the backcountry. Uh, the trail still stays pretty good, and it just warns you to be careful of cliff edges and only go onto the safe viewing platforms that have been created for viewing the falls and stuff. But uh, just like along the banks of the North Saskatchewan there, just be careful of, uh, of the edges, especially with little kids or anything, and be conscious. Coming along, we're going to come to another bridge. It gives you a really nice view up the river and the mountains and everything. There is a view of the canyon and what it looks like from up above. And this is why they just remind you to stay on the path. So we just got caught in the rain here, but just ahead of that other lookout where there's the steep drop off and no railing, we've got another lookout that has a really good railing that you can get nice and close to the edge here and see right down into the bottom of the canyon where the river's flowing. It's a pretty nice view. going to be another really great lookout that you can see more of the canyon and a little platform that you can actually get up onto and just get a really great view. Now look at that view. This is why you do this hike. So here we come up to another yet another viewing platform. Um, before and in between these viewing platforms, you've got just kind of open cliff and the path's a ways back. And that's why you want to be really conscious of where you're walking and staying on the trail, just because, you know, if you're not careful, sometimes the cliff edge can come out of nowhere and you don't want to fall or get hurt. But uh, out on these viewing platforms, it's perfectly safe to uh, step right to the edge and take a look over. Uh, Obviously just careful that you don't drop anything because you're not going to be getting it back. But uh, tons of great views of how this uh, river has carved out this deep canyon over the many, many years that it's been flowing through here. And a good look at the rock layers and some of the geology that uh, you see here in the Canadian Rockies. We are coming up to the Siffler Falls. So here's a great view of the canyon as well. And then here is the falls. So 
So that's the Sifler Falls hike. Pretty easy hike. Uh, pretty good trail all the way through. Pretty much a quad trail with gravel and everything. There's lots of kids on the way, lots of people bringing their dogs. It's a pretty accessible hike for most people. The last railing that you can get a good look at the falls is you can stand right over top of the falls here. The rocks can be a little slippery because the falls makes a lot of water splash up here, but uh, you can get a look at the power of this river just coming over this big drop. But uh, it's, it's absolutely beautiful, a great hike, easy for the family as long as you're, you're careful. So that's, uh, that's it for the hike. Um, we would highly recommend it. Yeah, it's a great hike. We love it. Hey, hey guys. guys. It's Carly. And Brady. We wanted to thank you for watching our Siffler Falls video all the way to the end. Please give us a like down there at the bottom and add any comments as well. Uh, about what you liked about the hike, anything else you'd like to know about the hike, and just let us know what you think. And also hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more content from us in the future. Uh, we're going to be doing some different hikes and outdoor adventure videos, and uh, if you want to be able to see that content in the future, just uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we're also on a blog, wanderwoman.ca. It's a travel blog featuring outdoor adventure, travel, all kinds of stuff, um, lots of humor on there as well. So uh, go take a look at it. Um, we've also included some bonus footage uh, and some bonus material to add onto this hike if you've done Siffler Falls before and want something a little different, or if you're adventurous and you want to add something else onto Siffler Falls, uh, go take a look, check it out. Thanks, we'll see you later.